Hello lovelies, in this video I'm going to take you to do my predictions for AQA Chemistry Paper 2. Now please remember, I am not an examiner, I have not seen the paper, I do not 100% know what is going to be on the paper, so please remember to revise absolutely everything. But if you're stuck with some topics to start from, then this is the list that I have come up with. And if you want some exam questions based on this list, don't forget there's the exam paper that I wrote and then to go with that, the walkthroughs that I have written as well. The videos that I've done where I take you through how to answer the questions, so the maths bit, the six mark questions, everything that you need or the exam skills you need to go with to complement the knowledge. So we're going to start with combined science and then we're going to skip to separate science. You can use the timestamps down below if that is going to help you. For combined science, we know for chemistry we have to have our core knowledge. So we need to be able to balance equations, we need to know what all those numbers and those letters mean, so fluency with the periodic table. You still need to know all of your bonding, so your ionic and your covalent bonding because that sort of thing that could come up anywhere. Um, so you still need to know all of that because it could come up all over the place. But there are a few things that specifically in tube paper two that aren't just like core knowledge. So what I'd like you to look at is alkane, so your hydrocarbons, so drawing things, naming things, and then the reactions of them as well, including combustion reactions. So if we have a hydrocarbon and we burn it, what comes out at the end? Can you take something? Can you balance that equation? Can you then talk about the polluting gases that come out of the end from complete and incomplete combustion? So we're talking about like um, greenhouse effects, we're talking about climate change, we're also talking about how this contributed to changes in the atmosphere as well. So what was the early atmosphere like um, and how are kind of like pollutions, uh, how's changes to the atmosphere happening, how is kind of like um, increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, how is that affecting the atmosphere at the moment. So greenhouse gases and climate change is a big topic. Talking about gases, I would like you to know all your tests for gases. That is something, you know, that we know didn't come up last year. Um, and it's the sort of thing that could easily be like a lovely one mark um, question popping up in loads and loads of different topics. So one of the big topics on this paper is rates. So I'd really like you to be familiar with your rates practical here. So all of the different ways you could measure a rate of reaction, so loss of gas, you could measure bubbles, you could measure volume of gas collected, you could measure um, a change in pH, you could measure change in turbidity, so how cloudy it gets and all of the different things associated with that as well as knowing all the theory behind it as well so all of your collision theory how um, temperature affects it pressure concentration affects it and how a catalyst would have an effect as well and surface area that is a big one so getting really really confident with all of the the knowledge behind that and all of the, the theory the practical as well as well as that, I'd like you to look at catalysts and reaction profiles for both endothermic and exothermic reactions. So can you confidently draw those? Can you confidently say which is an exothermic, which is an endothermic reaction? Um, are you confident in explaining what is happening when a catalyst is involved, what is happening in all of these graphs? So I'd like you to look at equilibrium as well. So a response to change. So if we did this to a reaction, what could happen in this situation? I'd like to look at resources that we get from the earth. And specifically, one thing I'd like you to look at is um, how we get the new methods that we are using to get rare metals from the earth. So getting copper from the earth, so fighting mining, bioleaching, and um, phyto extraction, if that's what you refer to it as. Um, so those are big topics that um, are really, really interesting chemistry. One of the things I'd like you to look at is identification of all of the different things. So how can we take something and work out what it is? So this could not only be your test for gases, but this includes chromatography as well. And then the last couple of things I'd like you to look at is possible water, so water treatments, um, how chemistry is actually really, really pushing this forward, and then reducing and conserving um, the resources that we use. So 
for combined science, that would be your list to um, have a look at uh, the, the various different things to start off with. So for separate science, we know we still have to have our core knowledge. So that is our balancing equations. That is what the big letters and the numbers all mean. So um, all the things from the periodic table, we still need to know all of our bonding as well. Maybe you don't need to draw it explicitly for paper two, but you still need to be aware of ionic and covalent bonding and everything involved in that. Are we looking to look at your hydrocarbons, so your alkanes and your alkenes, the differences between them, drawing them, enabling them, the reactions, including the reactions with carboxylic, reactions with ester, and identification of all of these as well. So I'd like you to look at DNA structure and structure of amino acid, including when we're going through to a polymer. So don't forget, DNA is a polymer made up of monomers, but there are lots of other polymers that you've come across in this course, and I'd like you to be confident with those and then going from a monomer unit to a polymer unit as well. So in thinking back to your hydrocarbons, I'd really like you to be looking at your crude oil, your fractional distillation, your cracking. All of those things are really, really interesting chemistry, linking through into hydrocarbons, linking through into lots and lots of different things, as well as taking it through out the other range of your fractional distillation and looking at the combustion of hydrocarbons. So the difference is between complete and incomplete combustion. Um, can you take a hydrocarbon, burn it, balance the equation that comes out at the end and then talk about what the polluting gases actually do. So the differences in polluting gases from incomplete and then complete combustion um, and then talk about the effects those are having on the planet, talk about the effects those are having on the atmosphere as well. Talking about the atmosphere, I would like you to be confident with changes to the atmosphere. So what the early atmosphere was like the changes that it has gone through and then the changes that it is going through at the moment. So greenhouse gas, uh, climate change, all of those things, how they're affecting the, the planet, how they're affecting us as people um, and the causes of all of those things. Thinking about gases still, testing for gases is a key thing that I would really, really spend, you know, not a huge amount of time because it's very, very little spec point, um, but it is something that can pop up all over the place and it's worth a lovely mark if you can get it. Now, one of the big topics in paper two is rates of reaction. So I'd like you to be really confident with your practical for rates. So all the different ways you can follow a rate of reaction. So that's changing turbidity, so changing cloudiness and changing color potentially, changing pH. We could be looking at loss of mass. We could be looking at collecting the volume of gas. There are lots of different ways they could ask you um, to follow a rate of reaction. So just getting familiar with all of the bits of equipment, getting familiar with all the different ways you can do this. Because remember, AQA have told us over and over and over again that the practical that you see in your exam is not going to be exactly the same as the one you've done in class. So getting familiar with all of the different ways you can follow rates, but then also the collision theory, the theory behind it as well. So understanding the effects of temperature, understanding the effects of um, surface area, catalyst, concentration, all of those are really, really important. Then I'd like you to look at endothermic and exothermic reaction. Can you draw the reaction profiles for these as well? So labeling all the different parts, the reactants, the products and the activation energy and explain the effect that catalyst would have on your activation energy. Also equilibrium, so any response to changes that we make potentially in temperature, potentially in concentration, pressure, um, and how a reaction would react to that. So looking at the resources that we get from the earth and new ways that we can get resources from the earth. So the, the new ways that we are developing to, to get raw, low grade ores out of the earth. So phyto mining, phyto extraction, bio leaching, those are like really, really interesting topics that is definitely worth spending some time looking at. So not only the resource that we get from the earth, but how we can preserve the resources we get from the earth, new ways of using them. So thinking about like metals, and um, thinking about alloys, how we can like preserve things, so prevent corrosion, um, things like that, looking at potable water, water treatment, and reducing the, the resources that we use from the earth. And then the last thing that is on my list is identification of ions. So um, identification of all your iron tests, but then chromatography as well, because that could be um, separate or it could be like a really, really big combined topic where you need to take things from different places all over the spec. 
combine them to work out the answer. So there you go guys, that is my uh, list of things I would like you to look at for your revision, but please remember to revise absolutely everything because I do not know exactly what is going to come up. Um, if you want a paper to go with this, if you want to look at some practice questions that you haven't seen before, um, then I've written that for you and I've written you a walkthrough with the paper so I explain how to answer the questions, how to do the six mark questions, how to do the, the maths and chemistry questions, any of those that might come up. Good luck guys and remember I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like to scratches. <laughs>